Um, I'm Marlene Pratt. I teach in the Griffith Business School at Griffith University on the Gold Coast campus. And I'm teaching a course called Hotel Service Operations Management, which is a third year course, capstone course. And this is for our international tourism and hotel management students. And the simulation that I'm teaching is called HOTS, which stands for Hotel Operations Tactics and Strategies. The course is as a capstone course, we're meant to integrate all students' understanding and knowledge that they've learnt in their degree program over, I guess, the last two, two and a half years that they've been enrolled. And so I was looking for a tool that would give students an opportunity to integrate their knowledge from food and beverage, rooms division, marketing, management, finance, and simulations are an ideal tool to do that. With my course in particular, we're interested in problem solving, developing students' problem solving skills. And the simulation, as they work in teams, they're led to collaborate. Group work's an important thing, as you know, in the university sector. And they end up taking on roles within the simulation. So we've got finance skills, marketing skills, HR skills, operational skills. And that gives them a very good opportunity to understand how hotels run as managers, uh, as well as the operational sides of the hotel. So they're learning a range of skills of problem solving, working together as a team, collaborating to try and work out how to make a profit for their hotel. So my course, I design it where it's quite condensed in the beginning. So we have, you know, four hour lectures in the first four or five weeks of the semester. And that's really just to get them really going with the simulation. What I've just brought in uh, this semester was we've done a bit of a test run with the simulation. So in the first two weeks of the semester, we got them into their groups and so on. They set up their hotel names and then we just ran the simulation for six months. And that gave them a little bit more insight and it, it motivated them a little bit more to learn about the simulation. I have written up a HOTS learning guide. So, and then within the learning guide, I've sort of helped outline decisions they need to make if they've decided to be a three-star hotel or a four-star hotel and so on. Because it doesn't always come, you know, instinctively for some students. So I've assisted them in that way. Within the simulation, there is also a background document and some other learning tools for the students to learn, which they can use online. So my assessment, I have some quizzes in weeks two, three and four that really, I guess, motivates them. Um, to get going into the simulation um, and after that then they have other assessment which is really on the simulation. They write up a HOTS report at the end which is where they're writing up an analysis of their performance for three years. It's an individual report um, but they're analysing their performance for each year and I have a whole range of criteria they have to look at and so they've got to then discuss what they did, the decisions they made and why over that three year period. And the second part of the report, they're writing a business plan for year four. So that demonstrates to me that they actually understand the position of their hotel, looking at you know, the strengths and weaknesses and so on. And um, after that, we have a small final exam. There's one other piece of assessment where they get rewarded for the performance in the simulation. So based on um, their return on investment in the hotel, they get 10%. So that, again gives them a reward for all the effort they put into running the simulation because sometimes they feel a little bit disjointed between the report and running the simulation because there is quite a bit of investment of time for the students to run the hotels. As we know when we get in the workforce we need to work in teams and I think this is a practical way for students to actually learn to work together because they do, within my course, they within a tutorial for instance, um, they get into groups of four students per team and th those four students then will be running their hotel. So within a tutorial we might have five or six teams and those teams then are each running their own hotel and it's interactive so that means they're actually competing against each other. So that puts another dynamic into the tutorial because they get quite competitive amongst each other. And I think that also enhances the teamwork because now they're relying on each other. So you've got your marketing manager, your finance manager, and that gives them good skills and opportunity to develop those skills.